Now, if you thought that fisticuffs and legislative cha in legislative chambers died with the last constitution, think again. That's right. A constitutional ruling by, sorry, a ruling by the Isiolo County Assembly Speaker that an impeachment motion against himself could not be debated triggered an actual fist fight that is now the talk of Isiolo County. Members of the County Assembly descended on each other with kicks and blows, scuttling debate and sending those who could not fight scampering for safety. KTN's Carol Derry was there. Whether the eyes or the nays carried the day here, no one could tell. But they definitely both had it. Blows, kicks. The debate on the motion did not take off. It was to be a motion to impeach the Isiolo County Assembly Speaker Mohamed Tupi. The showdown took over after the same speaker who was to be impeached ruled that the matter was not properly before the House. This ruling incensed the majority of the MCAs who supported the bid to impeach Tupi on allegations of incompetence and arrogance. It took the intervention of armed police officers to separate the two warring factions who were determined to have their fists and kicks felt if their voices were not going to be heard. A number of MCAs later reconvened and insisted that they had succeeded in impeaching Mohammed Tupi. <laughs> And we received the, the required ratio of 15, which is 75% of this, of this, of this motion. So from today on, the person ceased to be the speaker of this assembly and he should be locked out of this assembly. Outside the chambers, a charged crowd unsuccessfully tried to gain entry to follow the proceedings. The crowd was kept at bay by armed security personnel who had been deployed since morning. It was an action-packed afternoon here at the Isiolo County Assembly with an attempt to impeach the speaker. While that hasn't quite sailed through, it seems that the tabulate times are not yet behind the Isiolo County Assembly just yet. <laughs> It is not yet clear what the next step will be since each side is insisting they followed the law. Carol Derry, KTN.